check out this uh, little uh, corner over here. We've got some interesting things in there. I spy a wonder swan. Frozen mint. Looks to be in really good condition. 4,400 and it comes with the box. Background, they've got uh, Rockman 8 Metal Heroes. It's just the disc. I have that one already. Or else I probably would try and buy that one. Oh, they've got some DS lights here. And some 3DSs. For various prices. Ooh, what is this? We have an MSX. Pretty cool. I don't come across these very often. I don't know much about them. For MSX, 100, 11,000, 11,000 yen for that. CF2000 personal computer. The joypad is really interesting. It's like retro Nessa, that is pretty cool. They also have a uh, game gear in there. 3,000. Says it has, it turns on, it gets power. So. It's not a bad price. I think I've paid more for ones in the junk in Akihabara, actually. Uh, I have this awesome little television right here that's uh, really tiny. Look how tiny that screen is. It's micro, micro TV. 3,300 yen, that's very tempting. How awesome would that be to play um, some games on there? I don't know, I might have to pick that up. It says it gets power. Other than that, there's some way to like stick, hook up games to that. I wonder. Got some um, LCD games there. And a big Famicom disk system, ANA 505. Oh, uh, 16,500 yen. It says it's junk discs, doesn't read discs. Um, uh, there's a cassette player, R2 D2 cassette player for 3,300. They have a lot of good junk here. Speaking of which, they also have. I don't know what that is, but there's a Sega mark three back there for uh, 11,000 there's a Game Boy Pocket for about 3,000 and a Game & Watch for about five Mickey and Donald pretty cool stuff and then look down here they even have JAMA boards there's one it is for Midway Kaisen pretty awesome 66,000 for that one there's Capcom World 2 for 33,000 Another Capcom Final Fight for 66,000 and uh, there's another one below, another Capcom below it, but I don't see the what, uh, what the game is. Pretty cool. I've never seen or noticed JAMA boards at the uh, Hard Off before, but I guess they have them here and there. It's pretty cool. Lots of cool stuff in there. Every month on the 15th is Junk Day, and you get an extra 10% off at the register. I did not know that. I did not know that. All right. There's a tape deck in here. All right. Let's go and check out some more, shall we? We have some game systems here, you could say. Xboxes and uh, N64s. PlayStation. What is this? Intellivision, what? Oh, the classic Intellivision. So like the, the new one. Double dad for the GameCube. 1,100 yen. So the Mario Strikers, 1,100. That's supposed to come out on the Switch soon, I hear. Okay. 
do have a huge selection of games. Game Boy games. And game Gear. Super Famicom. Some stuff in the display case here. Some Sega games. Load Runner. Penguin Boy by Natsume. I have a few uh, cue cards down there. Ninja Spirit, Gunhead, and Ninja Gaiden. Wow! What is that? Yokai Dochuki is 4,000. That's way overpriced. You can get that Nike bar for like about like 1,000 yen in the, in the box. But here, this uh, Metal Slug Second Mission. It might be worth picking up. It is quite sun faded, but you know my motto. I don't know if that's 132. Thunder Force and uh, Sexy Proteus on the PlayStation there. Tatsujin. Sega Saturn. We got Final Fight Revenge. Focus. There we go. 33,000. Wow. Erandore, 11,000. Galaxy Fight, 1,400. And then we've got Get to whatever that, something about the moon, the PlayStation, Castlevania game. Akumajo Densetsu, Akumajo Dracula, Castlevania Chronicle, 6,600. Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, battle, Battle the Rega, 16,000, then should they go for 4,000, 5,000, they even have a few uh, MSX games in here too. You don't see, there's Gradius, loose for 33. 3,200. Original Gradius. Got also Medius. 5,500 loose. Download for 11,000. It's friggin' Mark II for 6,600. Saint Dragon for 1,004. That's a little deep. This is Ivy the King. I've never heard of that game before. But a Wii? 11,000 for that. スタッフが言っていて、親切丁寧に回答いたします。そして、ハードオフ。お買い物でも最高のワクワク。探していきましょう。ニューワールドスタッフ。ニューワールドスタッフ。ニューワールドスタッフ。ニューワールドスタッフ
Shu Gai Tyson. 3000? Seems a little spendy some of these games. What? Don Doko Don 2. 7700 in that cool Taito clamshell as they like to do. What is this Game Boy game with the monkey? It's by Natsume. It looks really cool. I'm very interested in what that is. Space Harry on the Game Gear is 5000. Oh, one good thing here is they have some Game Boy 2s, Super Game Boy 2s. Um, this one's a 3800, so 3800 yen and 4400. That's about what they go for. Some GBA game. There is a Metroid there for 8,800. It's the cartridge box, but it has the uh, Emmanuel with it. That's not too bad. Contra Spirits. I think it was 3,200. There's also a DS game, Urusei Yatsura. I've never seen that before. Got a gang of uh, Game Boys over here too. Like uh, Game Boy Pockets for like 6 and 5. Nintendo GBA there. Here's a red uh, DMG like I picked up last week. Uh, 4,900 for that. I definitely got a deal on mine, I think. I have some gaming watches here. That is really cute. I don't know what that is for. The anime is really dope. Kaiju a solo. That's a pretty cool aerial. Real animation. A rail song in supersonic system. New system melody. Alarm is in. Crazy. Interesting. Back away there. A salamander for 2000. Some interesting DS games. FDS games here. Coconut Walk World. 800. Doki Doki Panic, a thousand. Not bad. Bomberman, he got this uh, Famicom case, which is pretty cool. I don't see those very much. I don't have one for the Famicom, so I might have to just get that for its case. <laughs> Bunch of switches here. Some DS's, 3DS's. And something very uh, rare is this uh, U.S. Super Nintendo for 33000 They're selling it for. It comes with Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. Two DS's. Some limited edition uh, Dovis no Mori DS's. Pokemon. Some interesting things. FC Pocket HDMI. They got some micros. Four. It doesn't say. It's not clear. And then the GBA there for 55. There's a DMG. 4,400. Oh, there they have that Game Tech device connected to a GBA for 100, like 11,000. Here's an adapter, I think for fan, what, Super Famicom to the N64, 4,400 for that. Some Amiibos, but the blue, blue, oh, not Bluebird, Wavebird controller for 11,000. So, really cool stuff. As you can see, this store just keeps going and going. So many consoles and stuff. It's impossible to go through them all. It would take probably two hours. So, I'm just gonna highlight some of them. We've got a Spice Cube. A Spice Cube. Spice Orange GameCube. Really good condition. 5,500 has one controller with it. Here we got a PC Engine Duo. I love the look of this. This looks. This is the cleanest one I've ever seen. 
The black color is pretty cool, but they, you know, they're riddled with cap issues where they leak and stuff. I'm guessing this one has been refurbished. But it looks really clean. 33,000 for that. Here we got a, a red PS2 Slim. 22,000. I didn't know these were so rare. But it's really pretty scruffy for being a... It's a 90,000 series. So kind of expensive in my opinion. But uh, go down the line. There's a white PS2 fat for about 9,000. We got some uh, Famicoms there for six and 3,000. And some of them have been modded. This one has been modded in the front, which is pretty interesting. Some uh, N64, it looks like it's got the power pack in it, 8,800. Here's a blue one, without matching controllers, 8,000 for the watermelon colored one. This is a GameCube in the box, silver one for 7,700. Varying degrees of N64s in the box. PlayStation, family computers, PS3s. Here we got a PC Engine Core graphics for 13,000. And a Mega Drive OG for 16,000. We've got a bunch of Xboxes as well. Here they've got a Star Wars controller. Maybe not. I just thought it was a Star Wars controller. Another cool thing here is this uh, station rack for the Super Famicom. These are always fun because you can stick your games in there. It's a nice little drawer. You stick your system on top. It's got like space for like four controllers. Pretty cool. There's a generic one over there. Oh, something I missed. Probably shouldn't miss this one. Got a Pikachu N64. 22,000. Man, I should have bought that one. I saw it was only 7,000 quite a few years ago, though. The golden one. Oops, we've got a Victor Saturn. 8,800. A V Saturn. I don't know why, but that seems really cheap to me. I don't come across these very much. Pretty awesome. I don't know, should I get that? Take a quick look at some PS2 games. We got King of Fighters here. 4,400. And, uh,. Dark Stalkers Collection for 4,400. Capcom SNK, a whopping 880 yen. Uh, we've got some initial D action for 1,600. We've got uh, Okumojo Dracula, 7,700. Rumble Roses. Get your ro get your get your trimmers out. Alright. <clears throat> very, very modest selection of Engine Games, Snatcher, Tengai Mafia 2. Um a couple Mega Drive games, 3x3 three three eyes. Angelic, some Dreamcast, Saturn games here. We got Marvel vs. Street Fighter. Mm. Sonic Adventure. Spine, five, 550. Superhero, Marvel Superheroes. There's like three copies of that here. Each of them going at like 
Oh, here's one for 5,500. This one is uh, 7,000. This one is 7,000. So, pretty expensive game. I gotta take a quick look at the Famicom games a little bit closer. Gradius 2, Salamander, got Knight Rider, got Airwolf back there. It's Ultraman, Clubs, Part 2, Giga Gay Nortetto, Golf, 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 Ice Climber, Super Pitfall. Gotta like that artwork there, classic. Uh, Red Mask Man. Devil World, Super Chinese. Baseball, we got 1942 up here. Argus, Maru. Oh, I almost forgot, I wanted this. It's got some uh, Final Fantasy 3 here. Got the Yanchamaru. Kid Nikki, I think. Artwork is really cute on that. Final Fantasy 3. Been trying to get through Final Fantasy 1 recently. Uh, just for the heck of it, just to try a role playing game. I've never been a big fan of role playing. Somebody by the name of uh, Jimmy Hoppa uh, would like me to play some uh, role playing games, so I'm challenging myself. But so far, I can't stick to one console. Delay. 4,400. Capcom Fire Two Fighter Zero Two. About 2,200 for that. SD San Kokuden. Taishogun Raiden. There's UFO Man. Sailor Moon. Aladdin for 550. Soccer for 880, Rockman X 550. Here we got Mickey's Magical Adventure for 300, Monopoly. Pretty good stuff. Uh, let's see, Super Street Fighter Turbo So I think you've seen me pick up pretty much everything I'm going to pick up and I think the last thing on my list is going to be this one here because I did a uh, couple Game Boy mods recently and I'd like to test it out. So this is going to be a good uh, refurbished mod. But uh, you guys let me know down in the comments what you'd like, what you would have picked up had you been here. And uh, what kind of mods you'd like to see me do in the future. Make sure to check out more retro game hunting videos or mods at the end screen. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you all are staying safe. But above all, stay scruffy looking.
All right, so let's take a quick look at uh, what I picked up, shall we? Hopefully this is in focus. Here. Metroid, Doki Doki Panic, Super Mario Brothers, but I got it for the case. We've got Coconut World. Those are the games. Okay, as far as jump to refurbish. Diddy Con, another controller, the RAM adapter for the Famicom disk system, and OG Famicom. This is going to be uh, a good refurb, this guy right here. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning in for the, for the end to see what I picked up. Take care and uh, stay scruffy looking. Thank you.